Hello traders, FS Pep Coletta here. Today is Friday, July 12th, and this is my analysis of Bitcoin starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So I think it's very, very clear that Bitcoin is in a wave one, a wave two, and a big giant wave three. I think we are currently in a wave four, and eventually it is going to go up and make a wave five, probably even make new all time highs. Whether or not this 38% holds or not is the question we'll have to ask on sort of time frame. Going down to the weekly time frame, I'm definitely expecting this move down right here to be an A, B, C of wave 4. I was thinking that it would more likely go down and take out this, you know, rally base rally right here and also touch the 50%. So we are trying to identify the end of this trend on sort of time frames, which we have not done so yet. I still think there's a pretty good chance it will end up going down before it actually does end up going back up. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we definitely have been drifting up for a few days now, but we have no break of structure to the upside. Really no proof at all that this downtrend is over. I think this downtrend is likely a wave C of wave 4. And until I can actually prove it's over, which for me would be like a double bottom break of structure, that would definitely prove it's over. I would definitely still be looking for sorts. I think there's a very good chance it is going to go down again. And maybe it does make a double bottom, continue to respect that 38% fib level, go up and break structure or maybe it goes down to the 50 percent which i think is more likely right around the forty nine thousand dollar area before it actually continues the uptrend going down to the four hour time frame i think we are definitely in a crutchin right now i think it's most likely a crutchin to this move down looks to me like this is a wave a this is probably a wave b and it probably is going to go back up for a wave c if it goes up to the 61 percent and then makes a nice engulfing move to the downside i would definitely take that as a sort for the continuation of the downtrend until we actually see a nice fibonacci bounce a nice engulfing move and preferably a break of structure i would definitely be looking for longs on sort of time frames so going down to the one hour time frame, definitely a very, very clear three waves down, I think. Wave A, one, two, three waves up. Wave B, nice positive move down. Wave C. So most likely this is an ABC correction, probably an ABC of B. Most likely this is actually going to make its way up or probably over the next few days to at least the 61% Fibonacci retracement around the 59.8 area. Then if it bounces from that level and breaks structure, at that point I could definitely justify going short because at that point it probably would be an A, a B, and a C correction on the four hour time frame. Until you actually see this picture right here though, I would be very cautious about sorting it because it may actually go up to a higher fib level and who knows, it might even keep on trending up in a wave five already. So I would definitely be looking for longs at the end of pullbacks until you get that breaker structure at a Fibonacci level. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.